good morning. As you can probably tell, it's very windy today. <laughs> We've woken up and it's cold. Actually, a bit cold. I could do with a jumper on and jeans, maybe. I Eden. might even go as far to say jeans. Eden loves it, though. <laughs> Eden is loving this walk, yes. She's not hot at all. <laughs> you may even be able to see that Sasha has goosebumps. <laughs> it's that cold. Look, you can see my leg. I wish I could tell the temperature, but I don't know. It's cold enough to produce goosebumps. Last night we got the red obstacle light of death on the cat internet modem again. So I called the amazing service centre and the lady said they're going to send somebody down, a technician again. So that's happening. It normally takes a couple of hours for the technician to turn up. So we should be able to get the video online on time. I woke up this morning with good gym pains all over my body. It's been a long time since I've worked myself out hard enough to get good gym pains. I'm gonna try and keep into some kind of routine now that we're back at home and do more exercise. Eden seems a bit sprightly this morning as well. I think it's probably because of the cool weather. She was very excited to get out into the wind. Tomorrow, the old rot yon, the old car, has to go to the mechanic. So I'm gonna go and see Pichai. And I've just realized that we do not have a motorbike anymore. So I completely forgot about this. I'm not sure what we're gonna do while the car is being worked on. We might have to rent a motorbike or ask around, see if I can borrow one. Okay, so the cat technicians have been and gone. The connection issue is now sorted. We're still at a bit of a loose end as to why this keeps happening. The wire seems to be very fickle and keeps disconnecting and connecting. But hopefully that won't happen again for a long time. What's happening, Aiden? Aiden. <laughs> <laughs> Aiden. You better? Is that better? Yeah, good girl. It's actually been very cold all day today and it hasn't quite warmed up yet. So I went down to see Eden in the corner and she was shivering. So I decided to put her little jacket on. Well, I have not worn this jacket since Chiang Rai. It's been at least one year, mum. We've come out for lunch today, sat down in my friend restaurant. I just went down to the local shop to see if I could rent a motorbike for two days. 200 baht per day, which is actually quite a good deal. I'm gonna go and get my passport later and perhaps sign a document, I'm not sure what I have to do. Take a bike for two days so that we can have some transport when I've taken the car to the mechanic, which is happening tomorrow morning. But at least we'll have something to get about on in the meantime. Now we're at that stage where nobody can choose what they want to eat because the menus are so comprehensive. I've decided to go for a chicken fillet with lemon sauce. We're all sitting here shivering away <laughs> because it's still really chilly even though the sun is out. Should have brought a jumper and some trousers with me but I didn't put any on. Sasha still has goosebumps all over her leg. <laughs> My chicken with lemon sauce has arrived with homemade potatoes and bacon. Sasha has chicken with cashew nuts. Gai pat met mumwang him a pan in Thai. Some steamed rice. And dad has chicken rolls, which look like chicken, chicken sausage. Hmm. The sun has finally come out and it feels really nice. Ah, that is good. <laughs> Amazing how much of a difference that makes. Just gonna go back to the house and grab my passport and stuff and then we're gonna go get the bike. Lots of doggies. So Sasha was taking this little scoopy on a journey. <laughs> <laughs> hat on? Yep, hat on. <laughs> you, have, you have to adjust your strap. Hello. <laughs> You've ridden one of these before, haven't you, Sash the Scoopy? Alright, see you back at the house with a bike. 
So this particular rental shop, they took a photocopy, or well, they took a phone picture of uh, Sasha's passport, and they took a photograph of us as well as for security measures if we never gave the bike back. It was 200 baht per day, so 400 baht for two days. As is often the case, you have to give it back with exactly the same amount of petrol in that they gave it to you, so pretty standard. Cool little bike. It's also good to know that we've got somewhere so local to us where we can rent bikes. So if we ever have a visitor again and they want to rent some scooters, just go down the road. Right there. Very convenient. Looks like we've met up with Eden the dog on her walk with Granddad. I still got my little jacket on because it's cold. Oh, you're back from your walk. Still got your jumper on. Yeah, it's still chilly out. It's a very chilly day. How's the bike? It's alright. Not bad? Any problems? No. Nope. I have to admit, there is something very Thailand about riding a scooter around in this country. Driving a car isn't quite the same. Sometimes in a good way. <laughs> but sometimes it doesn't feel quite the same. I know some people that have moved here that have said I will never drive a car in Thailand, I just want to have a bike and nothing else and I can understand why they feel that way. I think having a dog made a big decision maker for us when we first moved here, we needed a car but having both is also a good option. Another problem with uh, riding bikes is if you have any kind of problem with your hair, like you want to keep your style looking good and you have to whack a hat on it, it's almost impossible to have a good hairstyle and have a hat. It's a good thing that I don't really care about my hair, but it does ruin my little peak. You know my little <laughs> spike? It kind of ruins that. <laughs> to explain what we're doing <laughs> we decided to go out for a little ride but we also decided to try out the coffee at the Italian pizza bar that we go to to see if it's any good I saw there was a decent looking coffee machine in there so that's where we're going Oh, look how windy it is. This is the theme of the day, isn't it, Sash? Freak weather. I should have put trousers on. Yeah, I know. My legs are actually very cold. This is not Thailand weather. <laughs> so my spike survived the helmet. It's quite a loose helmet, to be fair. But uh, yeah, it's actually pretty good Thailand hair. <laughs> How's your hair, Yorni? <laughs> it's quite good. It looks beachy. I like it? it. Yeah, it's very feminine. Oh, okay. Very feminine. I this like is unwashed it. hair. Unbrushed hair. I haven't even brushed my hair today. <laughs> yeah, you give me a compliment. Yes. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Like how ladies put so much effort into their hair and stuff, and men usually find them best when they're natural. <laughs> oh, no, don't put makeup on. Don't wash your hair. <laughs> don't wash your hair, yeah. <laughs> Quite like this natural look in the car on the way back from lunch, we were just saying, oh, if only there was a really decent coffee shop nearby. And it sprung to mind that I saw that coffee machine in there. So hopefully this cappuccino will be nice and we will have discovered a local coffee place. I mean, it doesn't open until midday, I think here, but well. that's right. I may be wrong about that. It may even open at five because Sasha said she came down here earlier and it wasn't open at one, so. It's an evening place. We have a cappuccino, number one. Are you ready to taste? Okay. What's the current taste? Situation. It looks good. It looks like it's a good colour. Mm. Sounds nice. Yeah. Delayed reaction. It's not bad. Not bad. 
Hmm. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Not bad. Coffees are done. We're gonna head back to the house, see what father is up to. Not a bad place to sit down, have a coffee and have a chat, but not really the right place that we're looking for. All right, ride me home. Ride me home. Almost home. a very quiet evening not much has been happening and it's actually technically the next day because it is nearly 1am and I am still up editing although I've kind of just finished putting all the clips in tomorrow's video Jay and his dad are both in bed but Eden is still here with me <laughs> I'm about to go and get ready for bed myself now because I'm rather sleepy the plan for tomorrow is unclear at the moment we know we're taking the car in for the service early in the morning, but then we will be carless. So I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog now. I am off to bed. I hope you liked today. If you did, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and let us know. <laughs> you can also hit this button here, this orange button, to see how you can support us via Patreon. Please do subscribe and you can also follow us on Instagram. That's all for today and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. You sleepy, Eden. You look sleepy too. You've made a pillow with your donut. Shall we go to bed? Come on, bedtime. <laughs>